Ruan, a game and a half or a game and a bit in for you so far. How have you found it so far? No, it's been it's been awesome. Um, I mean, coming everything happened quickly, um, but the guys welcomed me with open arms. Um, especially that first game at home at King's Home was was awesome. I mean, uh, seeing that shed, everyone's been been talking about the shed and, and hearing it for the first time was was amazing. Um, and then just running onto the field and just just expressing yourself was awesome. Um, just to see how much it means to to this people in the community. Um, experience that and then also experience a bit of premiership for the first time um, was was a great experience. So has it been what you hoped it would be and what you've been led to believe it would be? Yeah, obviously you, you hear everyone saying about the weather and so on, but at the moment the weather has been great, so I've been enjoying it a much uh, a lot. Um, yeah, um, it's been physical, it's been quick, it's been a lot of running rugby. I mean, if you look at the first first week of Premiership, there was a lot of task scored, so it's exciting rugby at the same time. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just enjoying every moment at, at this uh, at this time. And while the rest of the squad try and get used to what your dad wants from the Johan Ackerman coach team, I imagine you know you know all about it. Has that made it easier to settle into a new club? Yeah, I think that played a big part. I mean, um, been, I think this is year three with him. Um, know what he wants, know his values and, and what he believes in. So, I mean, the guys have really stepped up to it um, and embracing it at the moment. So, for me, it's just, it's just filling that gap and playing that part in the team. Um, but like you say, uh, just knowing what he wants has made it a bit easier for me as a player to, to get involved and to fit in with the team and the culture. There's a point to prove, I imagine, this weekend at Leicester after what happened at Harlequins. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, we weren't in our best best form. Um, we let ourselves down, especially I think the forwards. So, like I said, we've I've only looked at uh, Leicester Tigers through the years, and and they're always competitive. They always have got big forwards, and um, that was in the top four. So, a lot of respect. Even though I haven't played them, um, as a, I've seen I've seen them play, and and I mean they've they've had two tough weeks. Um, they will want to get a win, especially at home ground. So we've got also a big big week for us. Yeah. Is it the sort of game which, if you can get an advantage early on, then you can play on the fact that they haven't won so far, and you know maybe the crowd will get on their backs a little bit. Is it all about the start? Yeah, I think the first 20 minutes will will really set the tone for the match. Um, playing that foundation early up front um, will play a massive part and then like you said um, I haven't experienced playing there uh, I don't know I haven't experienced the crowd and so on but they are in on a two week um, loss or so they will come out firing that first 20 minutes um, we just need to to be patient and, and enjoy um, the fact that we we I can't say underdogs but just in the sense of that yeah. both teams are had an all came off a loss so for us it's important just to to start well has Ed Slater been sort of dropping the odd hint about what it might be about this week? Because obviously he came from Leicester this summer to Gloucester. Yeah, um, yeah. I also met Ed um, two weeks ago, and then you can see the experience he's bringing to the team. Um, and like you said, he's been there also for quite a few years. So um, just to see his knowledge and, and see what he brings, um, and then obviously he's been he's got a few tricks up his sleeves about Leicester Tigers and what to expect from them. So. Um, yeah, he's been just saying one or two things that we need to look out for and what we can maybe expo uh, exploit. So, yeah, he's been he's been great leadership um, up till now.